Good morning, YouTube. This is what breakfast is looking today. So it's just a quarter a cup of oats, 10 tablespoons of egg whites. Instead of the coconut and almond butter that I was topping it with, I'm going to just be topping it with this calorie-free, sugar-free Walden Farms pancake syrup. Um, with breakfast, I also have L-carnitine, which is all mixed up in here. So I use the Precision's carnitine ice in the watermelon flavor. Shout out to Fitness. Fitness. <laughs> And then also with breakfast, I'm taking um, a multivitamin and a fish oil. So I just did uh, cardio and I'm going to eat this. Then I'm going to go train some legs. And then I'm going to take you guys on a full day with me because I have some errands to do. And now we have our first plot twist, which I hear a lot of other YouTubers using that phrase. But this is a huge one. Um, so I'm just eating my breakfast and my landlord texts me. And she's like, I want to move back downtown this summer. So, in other words, I'm kicking you out of your apartment. Which is like, it's something that we really did not want to have to do. We thought about moving and then we decided we didn't want to move. We really wanted to stay here for the summer. So, yeah. Really trying not to let it bring me down. But, um, gonna have to start looking for apartments. Sweet. Quick little look inside my purse. Business cards. This parcel I have to send out, which has the bikinis that I need to send back. Can I just shake a cup? Some rice cakes, some chicken. There's like an ice pack in the top. Uh, axe for women. Um, some supplements. Tanning lotion. And a little bit of my leg workout. And probably some water in there too. Of course, Tuffle Fitness. true story. Frazier picked it. Um, he gave me a guess as to what it was and he said your crush is in it or something. I can't remember. He said something like that and my first guess was Tom Hardy. But it wasn't. My second one was right. James Franco. So we're going to see that shortly. Um, I packed some snacks for the movie so I'll show you guys what they are when I get there. They happen every year. Moments when we hold our breath. Hey guys, so we went to that movie last night and it was really good. Um, it didn't have the best ratings online, but I really liked it. Uh, and I tried to show you what I took for... I tried to show you what I took for movie snacks and it was so dark that you couldn't see them. So I thought I would just tell you right now. The other day I went out and I got this Quest Protein in the peanut butter flavor. I was so excited to try this stuff and it lived up. Uh, so I mixed a scoop of this with a quarter of a cup of water and some cocoa 
and I just like mixed it up and then I froze it for 15 minutes, like 15 minutes before we went to the movie. And then when I got to the movie it was like a frozen yogurt and then I had a couple rice cakes and I just kind of dipped them in it and it was so good and I didn't even crave like Frisch's big bag of popcorn that he was eating next to me. So that was a success. Um, and then today I worked um, this morning and then we ended up going to look at two apartments. Uh, we didn't really like the first one, but we really did like the second one, so we're going to sleep on it, think about it, maybe check out a couple others, and then, yeah. So, uh, that went good, but it did take up a lot of the day, so, and then I just got in the door. I, I teach a ladies' boot camp class on Tuesday night, so it was actually the last one. I teach them um, at the dance center on Davy Street, but I ended the contract there because I want to take them outside for the summer. A lot of the girls wanted... I did them last. Last summer I did them outside and they want me to take them back outside. So hopefully in June we'll get them going again. If you guys are downtown Vancouver and want to come out, um, just like leave me a message and I'll let you know when they get going again. Uh, so I just taught that class. I've um, just been so busy today. I haven't got my workout in. I did some cardio this morning. But I'm probably just going to have a meal right now and then hit the gym. Hello again. So I just got off my workout about an hour ago and I've changed obviously. Um, my workout went really well. Um, and now we're just heading out. Fraser's already out and I'm going to meet them. Um, we have a few friends in town from the East Coast that we don't see that often. So I want to go out and see them. Um, I just wanted to touch on something real quick. Um, in past preps I've kind of let the prep take over my life and I wouldn't go out and do things because I just thought I wouldn't have fun or and I look back and I really kind of regret some moments where I didn't do things because I was prepping and I just have a completely different mindset this time I'm I'm more disciplined like they're probably all drinking and I'm just gonna go and have like a Diet Coke or I don't know maybe a sugar-free Red Bull or something but um I just think you need, it's part of the process. You can't let prep prevent you from doing things. Um, so yeah, and I'm a huge believer in balance. I like to go out and have a good time, and I like this, this fit lifestyle as well. So I just think finding a balance is important, and don't let being in prep mode prevent you from getting out and doing things and seeing the people you love, and... Uh, making those memories so I think this is gonna conclude this vlog um, so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and let me know what you guys want to